Kevin, George Covian, Dr. George McKenna, Carl Hakima, Cliff McLean, Larry o Attorney Johnny L. Cochran Jr., Gloria Gray, John Mack, Paul Hudson, Shirley Brookins, Michael and Herbert Brookins, Otis Neal, Amelis J. Taylor, Berlin Hayes, Gretchen Winfield. This morning we received an announcement from Perez, Thelma Bennett, and there are many, many others, literally hundreds of others that I don't have time to introduce. The people that you want to see are here. here today is just to introduce you to uh, the death row artists who will be participating in this worthwhile concert. Uh, first of all, my boss, six feet deep, and Outlaws Immortals, on the Machiavelli label. Enjoy yourself. Again, that was George Price, Director of Communications, Death Row Records. Uh, I'm now going to um, bring up a, a true friend that I'm proud to have as a friend. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Uh, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to be in your presence. Believe me, this is a struggle, and your presence here is making this struggle real. The groups that are represented here today is the real deal. As a great soldier said once, that a struggle, that a win. So what's happening right here today, brothers and sisters, is necessary. If we intend to make a change, to make a difference, we're going to have to make a presence. The groups that are represented here today are the real ones. I want to take a minute to say a few things about them, but we don't have the time. But before it's over with today, we're going to acknowledge all the community groups that came out here to make this thing happen. But let me say a couple of words right quick about See, the point is the toughest part of the spear. I'm talking about somebody that's, that's not afraid to stand up and do whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm talking about my brother and your brother, Brother Danny Bakewell. Right quick, right quick. Me and this brother date back, me and this brother date back almost a quarter of a century. That sounds like a long time, and it is. And that brother's been, thank you. First of all, we want to thank all the media and all the community leaders and all of the community participants that have come out here today to be with us. Today's press conference is about something that is historical. It is about our community coming together to defeat one of the most malicious propositions that have ever been put to the people of California. It is so malicious that it has even been disguised in its name, California Civil Rights Initiative. Now, when you say that, you think that you're about to vote for something good. But this initiative, which is Proposition 209, will turn back all of the gains that African-American people and other people of color have made over the past 25 years. And we are here today, strong, loud, and clear, standing side by side with Brother Suge Knight, Tupac, Woo! Snoop, Hammer, and all the brothers and sisters here, saying we will defeat CCRI Proposition 209. Is that right? Yeah. All right, let's hear it. People say, why do you need affirmative action? We say simply because there is discrimination. 
You can't eliminate affirmative action if you still have discrimination. In a country where the skinheads are populated, in a country where the legislature in Washington is eliminating the welfare reforms do not call for the kinds of basic necessities that people need to survive. We're living in a society today where the media and others, all they do is pick us out one by one and attack us and try to separate us. We're saying here today, no more. You all know, if you don't, I'm here to tell you the terrible circumstances that happened over at Moss Number 27 in Inglewood last Friday. We have an obligation to stand, and we will tomorrow at a press conference in Inglewood, and we invite all of you out there to do that. Yes, but today, what we're standing for, we're standing here today to thank you for coming together and to serve notice that we are going to put on the fundraiser of the century at the Shrine Auditorium next month on September the, what is it, the 27th. you to look at these brothers. I want you to look at these brothers because something very special is happening here today. They made an issue over rap music, but they haven't made an issue over the entrepreneurship and these brothers' dogged determination to rise up in a record industry that is controlled by others and to make a multi-million dollar company work and work in the interests of African American people. We are going to come together and we are going to defeat CCRI. I want you to join me in putting your hands together for a man that I call my friend. And I don't call a lot of people my friend. But he deserves our support. He deserves our admiration. Because he is a man that in the final analysis put his money where his mouth is. A lot of people say, with well, my goodness, you're doing all of this with Dave Knight. Come on, brother. You talk about a warrior? This is a warrior. We say a warrior is one who defends his family, supports his community, and votes. And that's what we're going to be doing a lot of in the next coming months. Brother Shug Knight, let's give him a big hand. One thing I would like to say, if, um, if it weren't for the community, it would be no Jeff Gore Records. And more important than all that, if it weren't for Snoop, Daz, Hammer, Tupac, Daddy Boy, Six Feet Deep, OFTB, it would be no me. So I'm not here to try to get the limelight, to be famous, nothing like that. I think my spokesperson for Jeff Row always will be you know the guy who acts, raps, the other guy who raps, and now he's a, you know, model. I like to bring Tupac yeah. and Snoop up. Real quick, I forgot to introduce one of our artists, a 17-year-old R&B sensation, Danny Boy. How y'all doing out there? Yo, we just want y'all to know, Death Row, we appreciate everything y'all doing for us. My record says we got six million, Snoop got four million, Dog Pound got three million, and we keep going. That means we represent that many votes. If we can represent that many votes, we gotta let these politicians be scared of us. That means every time we drop something, y'all gotta pick it up. Every time y'all call for us, we gonna come. All right, All right now we gonna let dog talk. What's up, y'all? I got this in my hand, registered to vote, trying to get all y'all to get with this real thing, cause uh, it's our voice that means something, you know what I'm saying? It's all on us. If we don't speak, ain't nobody gonna speak for us. They gonna speak against us, so we got to speak up. As a rapper, as a brother from the community, somebody who, is intact with what y'all feel and what y'all go through. I'm one of the main voices saying that I'm with getting out here voting and getting y'all to get out there and vote 
and be about what you about because y'all community is you and y'all putting into it so y'all got to get out there and get up off your butts and go to the boat and get a gun you know what i'm saying make it happen because death row gonna be there and we need y'all to support us because we represent the young brothers from the community that's trying to get out that want to do something this rap thing is a blessing in disguise believe it you got more gang members doing rap than doing killing so let's keep the rap thing going and keep the boat thing going i'm preaching right now i'm preaching <laughs> from Danny Boy. Yeah. First off, I'd like to say what's up to everybody. Um, we need that affirm affirmative action. And I want to say the death row and myself, we're against that uh, three-strike rule. I don't think it's fair, so y'all get down with it, get out there and vote. And for the ones that's not old enough to vote, vote next year. That river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long, 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 long time coming. But I know oh, 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 a change gonna come. Thanks a lot. Danny Boy, let's hear it for Danny Boy. Now we want to hear from the man who's here to help us, not hurt us. Let's hear it, Hammer. Come on. What's up, y'all? So we know in order to make things change, we got to get out there and vote. We got to make sure that they don't fool with all that calling things a civil right initiative, and we know it's nothing but the 52 fake out. 209, we against 209. So we want everybody to support, everybody get out there and vote. And we're going to be there for y'all like y'all there for us. It's all good. Reverend Marshall, my man. How you doing, brother? How y'all doing? Listen, it is it really is serious business here today. We appreciate everybody coming out. But this is the first step on a long, hard journey. A journey to people... To vote, but we can educate our people about the importance to vote. Hold on, before we get Minister Tony, we want to get Daz to say something. Let's hear it for Daz. And all that available type stuff that we can do for our own boys and y'all. And, um, you know that. Wait for the concert. We want to Let's, let's, let's. Nah, I ain't finna bust no rats. I ain't finna bust no rats. It's on stage, on the screen, on our basketball courts, busting three pointers, hitting 40, doing triple double flips in the Olympics. Going to everybody else's country, but they got big block walls stopping people from coming to this country right here. America got a lot of nerve. Now, if they want to act like that, pass laws to add to the Constitution that did not include us Indians, and let the Indians have their country back, and the Mexicans have their country back, and America can find another home. Because that's what's going to happen if they don't start looking out for the people that's looking Brother Danny Bakewell, and I think Brother Danny Bakewell deserves a round of applause. Let's hear it for Brother Danny Bakewell. We will have a press conference tomorrow at 12.30, letting the government and the police know that the Nation of Islam accept the challenge. And if you want to attack us, we're going to show you with our army and with God backing us what we'll be able to do. So we want the whole community to be in Inglewood, 1230, to get rid of us, and you know that you are next. So if everybody would just join hands, we bow our hands, we'll pray, and let's everybody get out to